Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little mermaid look. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Before we get to it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me. And while you're down there, click on the notification bell so you can get notified all the time of my future uploads. I upload two videos every week, so I would love to see you here next time. Let's get right on to it. Okay, so I'm going to use, this is the MAC NW25 Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm going to use my Sephora Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to start prepping my eyelids. Now I'm going to use, this is the Queen, the Queen Eloise Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to use this pink right here, which is called Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I'm going to use a Moda Pro blending crease brush for this and this is a shade that I'm going to use to set my eyelid. I'm just going to do tapping motions. I'm not going to swipe anything yet because I don't want to pick up any of the concealer that I just used. From the same palette, I'm going to grab this little magenta color called Empress. And I'm going to use a lavish tanford blending brush for this. I'm going to start darkening up the outer V portion, stamping it, and then bringing it into the crease area to start giving a little bit more depth and definition to that eye. I'm going to grab the shade Curtsy, this color right here with my finger, and I'm just going to put it all over the lid. I'm going to leave the eyes like that for right now and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and I'm going to use a billion dollar brush for this and I'm just going to start putting it all over my face. I'm going to set my face using the Airspoon Loose Face Powder and this is the translucent shade. And now I'm just going to start contouring my face and I'm just going to grab, this is the Jaclyn and Hill Palette Volume 2. And I'm going to use the shade called Therapy Sesh, which is like this little bright purple right here. And I'm going to use a Moda Angled Brush for this. Now I'm going to grab the shade Not My Journey, which is like a darker purple. And I'm going to use, this is a real technique setting brush, but I'm going to use it because I find that it's like really domey and really precise for a more in-depth contour sort of kind of deal. So what I'm going to do is basically deepen out my contour with a more darker shade right here. To sort of contour my nose, I'm going to grab Therapy Sesh and Not My Journey. I'm going to dip into both shades and this is a blending brush. I'm just going to bring it all the way up to my brow and go up and down. And bring it, make a little V right here in your nose. Now we're just going to merge that blend with our brow and with our eye. And then with Angled Brush, I'm going to just blend this right here and just bring it down. Now I'm going to grab a white lip liner, the Maybelline New York shade White Luster. And I'm just going to just outline my lips and fill them in completely with the white. Okay, now comes the fun part. A lot of people like to use the hand gloves or some kind of meshy surface, but I feel like in terms of for it to be secured and in place, I'm just gonna use some tights. Don't laugh. Well, you can laugh. Give me your money. So now you're gonna leave it like this. And once you secure it in place, don't move it. I'm gonna grab the Urban Decay Nate Ultraviolet palette and I'm gonna use the shade Lucid which is the middle shade right here. I'm gonna grab the same brush that I use for my contour. This is a Real Technique setting brush and I'm gonna hop into this Lucid shade right here and I'm going to start placing this all over my face where I put the contour.
Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Foil. And this is the highlighter shade Mint Mojito. I'm using a small contour brush for this and I'm gonna put it all over my lip and bringing it around. Using this shade called A Moment. And then we take it off. Don't mind the hair. I'm gonna grab the purple shade from the Eloise palette and I'm gonna use this one right here called Regal. And I'm gonna use a blending brush for this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color my brows. And I'm gonna grab that pink again that I used for my lid and I'm just gonna run it to my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Bite. This is their lip crayon in the shade Pink Lady and I'm gonna use this to outline my lip. You're probably wondering why did she cover it with pink after she went through all that trouble to do the white. I don't know. I kind of felt like changing it. That's what happens when you do makeup. Sometimes you don't. Things don't go as planned and that's okay. And this is it. This is the final look. I went ahead and put some eyelashes and white liner in my waterline and that's about all I did. And then obviously some mascara. You can do your mermaid hair or curl it with the three iron, the three barrel iron, whatever, flat, whatever, whatever it's called. I'll make sure to link that down below so you can check it out. Let me know that you liked it by giving it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload two videos every week. I'd love to see you here next time for our next Halloween makeup. Bye.